Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a chrome typeface effect. This video will be much longer than normal, I will show you how to export your graphic from Illustrator and how to import it to Blender, I will show you how to create the effect in a few steps, how to edit and get different kinds of chrome effects, and finally, I'll show you how you can edit it to create different types of effects and how to export it correctly. Don't worry, you don't need to know Blender well, I'll explain how to create the effect, step by step. If you have never used Blender, this video might motivate you to try it. Blender is a free program that allows you to process projects in 2D and 3D. In the case of this tutorial, at the end of this project, you can create different types of Chrome effects, by changing just a few settings, the combinations are endless. Let's start. First, we need to prepare our graphics correctly to edit them in Illustrator, import your graphics into Illustrator, or open your project. I have grouped all my letters. Now select the effect and go to the 3D and Materials window, select Inflate. If you don't have this window, go to Window, and select 3D and Materials. Set Depth to 0px, and check Inflate both sides. Perfect, now you are ready to export your graphics. To do so, go to Windows, select Asset Export. Drag your graphic into the panel, and select the OBJ format. Click on Export button. Now save your file in a folder. Now we can move on to Blender. Delete the objects that are present in default, select them and click on the X button. Now go to File, select Import and select Wavefront. Look for your file in the folder you have selected, it is likely to be inside a folder named OBJ. Select File OBJ. Your graphic is likely to be very large when imported. Select your graphic and press the S key. Move the mouse towards the center to make your graphic smaller. Now we can finally create the chrome effect. Let's start by creating the material. Select your artwork and go to the materials section. There will be some basic materials. If your graphics were text, you can delete them all by clicking on the minus button as in my case. Before starting with a new material, set up viewport shading. Now we can add a new material to give them the settings we need. Set the metallic option to maximum, while the roughness option to minimum. You can clearly see a great result, but we can do a lot more and a lot better. I advise you to split the screen as I did, it will be necessary for this part of the tutorial. We finally got to the most interesting part of the video. We have created a material that reflects everything around it, so now our graphics will reflect everything like a mirror. Now we need to decide what our graphics will reflect. Go to World Properties. Click on Color, and select Environment Texture. And click on the Open button. For this tutorial, you can download the texture I am using for free from my Gumroad page, you can find it in the link in the description. After you download it, resume the tutorial. You will have to go to the folder that contains the texture you have downloaded and select it. Change your viewport, set it to rendered. As you can see, your graphic has changed because it is now surrounded by the texture we have set. I show you how to make the background transparent. Go to render properties, select the film option, and activate the transparent checkbox. We need to set up some things, and then we can start creating different kinds of chrome effects. To improve the reflection that is created on the graphics, go to World Settings. Select Mirror Ball. Perfect, to edit the graphics we have to go to the lower part of the screen. Select World. Now we need to add two options. By clicking Shift plus A, a window will open. The first thing we need to add is mapping. The second option is called Coordinated Texture. Link the two parameters. I'll explain immediately what all these options are for. The first option allows you to change the light intensity. The more this value is, the more light there will be. Here you can change the texture by clicking on the folder. This option instead allows you to create the reflection. By modifying these parameters you will get a different effect.
There is no precise data to ensure that your graphics have a nice reflection. You can experiment and get different results by trying different settings. You can get the whole project on my Gumroad page. When you are done, you can start preparing your artwork for export. Click Shift plus A, and select the camera option. Place the camera in front of your graphic, by moving it with the arrows. You can split the screen in two by dragging it sideways. Now go to View, and select Camera View. With this option here, you can change the position of your camera until your graphics are framed. Last step before rendering our graphics, we need to set the image size. To do this go to Output Properties and enter the file size, in my case I want it to be in 4K. Go to Render and select Render Image. Now just save your image and you're done. In this part I show you a summary of how to use this amazing project. First, you will need to import your graphics. Remember that to do this it must be an OBJ file, I show at the beginning of the video how to export from Illustrator. Now go to File, select Import and select Wavefront. Select File OBJ. Your graphic is likely to be very large when imported, select your graphic and press the S key, move the mouse towards the center to make your graphic smaller. The next step is to go into the materials, Remove all the materials generated by the graphics, and insert the Chrome file. You can now customize your graphics by changing these values here. I also added an RGB curve, it works exactly like in Photoshop. It may happen that when you open the project, the project is pink, do not be scared. This is due to the fact that there are no active image textures at the moment, just add one and everything will be solved. To change your chrome effect, just go to image texture and click on open, here insert your texture, and you will see that the project will change. When you are done, go to render image and save your file. Thanks for following me up to here, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like so as not to miss other similar content.